At the end of March, we saw hip-hop artist Lil Nas X release a satanic and gut-wrenching music video mm. of his song called Montero, Call Me By My Name. Gut-wrenching and satanic. I think my drink dressed appropriately for the occasion. I've been busy. I have been busy. You guys will be filled in. Make sure you're subscribed to my second channel, by the way, because that's just gonna be a whole world of things. But not too busy to notice all of the craziness around the Lil Nas X drama because of his clear Satan worship and refusal to accept Jesus, of course. I thought it would die down pretty quickly, but it hasn't. And y'all keep requesting that I talk about this. And I finally broke. I finally broke. I saw four Karens sitting down to talk about this. You see here, you've got Karen one, two, three, and four, and they are all just simply outraged. And through watching their video, you guys will be happy to know because it was so requested that the Karens swayed me. And by swayed me, I mean they just completely pissed me off and I was screaming at my computer as I watched them. Um, but swayed I have been. It's satanic and gut-wrenching. Not satanic enough for you? Not gonna send you to hell quick enough? Well, let me tell you what will. Adam and Eve, thank you for sponsoring this video. I love Adam and Eve. I especially love promoting Adam and Eve in videos that are like this, just full of Christians that are triggered over things that really they should just chill out about, but that's fine. All positive vibes from here on out at adamandeve.com. If you go there, you can use my name, Jacqueline, J-A-C-L-Y-N, as a code at checkout to get 50% off any one item and free shipping, which is a sweet deal. And Christians might appreciate this. It'll have you saying, oh God. So go to adamandeve.com, use my code, J-A-C-L-Y-N, get your discount. And if you want, I have a link in the description below of me unboxing a bunch of amazing items that they just sent me. Please do subscribe to that channel and go watch the video, link in the description below. Check out Adam and Eve. And there you go. You have been blessed by me. Back to the triggering of Christians. When this first happened, I got most of my information by watching Philip DeFranco, and I remember thinking it was hilarious at how many people had an issue. Of course, we have Candace Owens who just needs to comment talking about George Floyd and just complaining about Cardi B because that is relevant to everything, everything we do. We just need to bring up the racial war and women, you know, are just women in general are bad. Sexuality, bad. And then of course, the next major talking point that I just can't get people to shut up about is the children. Oh God, what do we do about the children, the babies, the tiny little new Newborns are all watching this YouTube video and things like WAP and it's corrupting them because basically straight out of the womb kids are exposed to this treachery, the children. Lil Nas X has a huge platform, most of them kids. The man or whatever is glamorizing hell to children. Now please tell me how that's okay. It's not okay. I am so beyond disgusted and disappointed in this whole Lil Nas X thing. It's wrong and gross. Children are gonna see it. Our kids are being told that this kind of product is not only okay, it's exclusive. But do you know what's more exclusive? Their God-given eternal soul. We are in a fight for the soul of our nation. We need to fight hard and we need to fight smart. We have to win. For the children, of course. Let me just say this. Some things, just in general, are not made for children. Songs, Movies, music videos, bars, you know, don't take your kids there. Just don't do it. I mean, there are parental controls for a reason. You don't want to raise your children with these types of things. That is on you as a parent. You can't put the block button on society in real life. You can put it on your TV or your computer, but you can't knock down everybody's door claiming the children, cause we, bitch, we all know it's you. You are uncomfortable with this. Don't use kids as a front to make yourself seem like you're doing some grand thing for the world. You just don't like it yourself. Then of course we have my personal favorite, Caitlin Bennett saying, it's weak like these that I'm thankful to be blocked by Lil Nas X. He responded saying, you, obviously you can still see somebody's tweets even if they're blocked, whatever. Like, yeah, I can still see what you say though. And she responds, do you still see your dad? Yep. 
and I might fuck yours. Which, of course, the only way you can interpret that is not of consensual loving nature. No, it has to be the R word um, that she then accuses him of sexually assaulting her father, which that's just, you know, sounds about, sounds about what I'd expect. You, j you know, ugh. what a lovely human being she must be. I did particularly, however, like this response. When you traumatize a whole generation and more of kids with the concept of a literal hell, something Jesus never preached, don't be surprised if they grow up, realize it was a control technique, and then use the imagery to make a point in their art. I love this in particular because this is something I feel like I've been saying for a long time, that one of my problems with Christianity in particular is this concept of hell because I remember what it was like as a child. I went to Catholic school. They drill into you that if you, you know, are bad, you go to hell. Bad, hell. And hell is a fiery place that you will burn and literally your skin will like burn forever, eternity, and your parents too, and everybody you love if they don't do what you're supposed to do, and friggin' hell, like, that is scary. That is traumatizing. I had nightmares. It actually did mess with me, and I know that this is something that a lot of people that were raised in a similar way can relate to. Now, who might it be that is putting this kind of imagery in children's heads? Well, it's not the not Christians. Good, good one, Jacqueline, good one. Christians are the ones. Now, I'm not just gonna like blanket everybody. I'm sure some people like are kind of wishy-washy on hell. I don't know. But as far as what the Bible says and what a lot of Christians do preach, that stuff, I believe, is inappropriate to put into children's minds. I get it, the adults are brainwashed, they think it's real, but that to me is not okay. <laughs> So it's funny to me when these same exact people are like the children. It's like, well, yeah, look in the mirror. Whew, I'm gonna chill out, calm down, and go back to this video of all these Karens. And <laughs> I love this title, Christian Moms. We're just being moms, you know, just being moms, trying to love Jesus and sending our children to hell if they're bad. I've not seen this video, but it shows Lil Nas X giving Satan a lap dance. Wonderful. Uh, how come? This is a thing, right? Like, every time there's something that comes out, I saw it with the WAP video. Everyone's like, oh, I didn't, no, not how I, I didn't watch it. But I'm going to tell you all about why I didn't like the thing that I didn't watch was. We cannot have people thinking that that kind of imagery has been into my pure mind. Like, just from like a basic educational standpoint, don't you think if you're gonna comment on how much you don't like something, you should know what that thing is? Looking at a picture or reading someone else's thoughts on it isn't quite your own experience. And if you're gonna sit here on a platform and tell a bunch of other people how to feel, you should at least have generated your own unique feelings, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, he has had a lot of backlash from this from Christian people. He responds to them publicly, as you can see. And this is also something that he has said that these four Karens are about to comment on. So this is his tweet. I spent my entire teenage years hating myself because of the shit y'all preached would happen to me because I was gay. So I hope you are mad. Stay mad. Feel the same anger you teach us to have towards ourselves. Which I find very powerful. It's interesting how these Christian people can be so triggered by something, but they have no idea the damage they cause other people by constantly ingraining it in their mind that they're a sinner, that they're not good enough, that they shouldn't be able to love who they want to love. And then they're, they're surprised? that people get mad at that? It's okay for you to traumatize an entire group of people to make the suicide rate so high in that group of people because they don't feel accepted because of the words that you say, but then the backlash is too much and you just cannot believe it? Get out of here. Anyway, in my opinion, the worst of the four Karens had this to say about his tweet. And that tweet to me, the, um, when he says, you guys have been preaching it, well, that sounds like he got a dose of truth mm -hmm. from the Bible, 
where it says homosexuality is against God's will and he's angry. You just got a dose of the truth. It's not me being bigoted. This is my favorite thing ever. This is my favorite thing ever is people using religion as an excuse to get away with their own bigotry and hatred. You know, they're propagating these horrible messages and saying, but I'm not judging you. Hate the sin, not the sinner, right? God's the one judging you. It's just the truth. I'm not horrible for saying it because I'm only saying the truth. I get that you're supposed to love everybody, but hell is real. People yeah. are going to hell. The wicked are going to hell. And God's not soft to the fact that hell's temporary. No, hell is permanent mm -hmm. and the wicked are going to go there. Ugh. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like these people are really convinced that that's a place, that that's an actual place and how miserable their lives must be because of it. But at the same time, it's like, how do you brush it off so quickly? Like, I get that you're supposed to love everybody, but, 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 but I think hell is real and therefore I'm not going to be nice to you. But in their head, they're, they're saving you, or they think they're saving you. I don't know, it's really messed up. I, I'm so tired of this mindset and people just being okay with it. Get mad. Everybody should be friggin' mad at this type of shit. When you're attacked physically, <clears throat> when you're attacked, you, you, if someone breaks into your house, you're, <laughs> okay, come on in, let me give you yeah. a hug. Mm -hmm. So when you're attacked mm -hmm. spiritually, it's the same thing to rise up. I felt that in my spirit that the Lord was like, what? You need to speak yeah. and say something. Oh, what a terrible analogy. What my, man, my, that's actually making my brain hurt. So she equated someone breaking into your house, attacking you physically as, as the, the fact that she feels spiritually attacked as a result of this music video. First of all, no one's breaking into your house. They're opening the door and they're walking in to their own house. No one's knocking on your door, making you watch this video. No one is forcing you to watch content that goes against your beliefs. It just is content that exists that maybe other people want to watch, that other people are making. No one is evangelizing this to you, banging on your door, threatening you with it. You're just choosing to feel threatened by other people's business, as usual. If someone's coming at my man, right, modern day, my hoops are coming off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not messing about. Yeah. I'm not messing with it. That's so right. why, Christians, why on, are we not taking our hoops off ready to fight? That's right. This is Jesus he's That's talking right. about. Right. Come on. Like, come on. Let's get a little on. Yes. You know? <sighs> this woman <laughs> might be the most lovely of them all. Girl, maybe you should take those hoops out regardless. I'm sorry. Did he give Jesus a lap dance? Did he kill? Jesus in this video, like literally in the music video, he kills Satan. You, you'd think that they'd be happy about that, but fuck it. Remember so. there's two sides to every story. So he's coming out and saying, oh, everyone said all this stuff about me, but how do you know that's actually true? How right. do you know it wasn't his right. mother, or his father coming to him saying, we don't want you to go to hell, what you're doing is wrong, and right. we want you to turn around or your life. Or someone saying it out of love. Out of love. Yeah. So if you're gonna take the word of a guy giving Satan a lap dance, yeah. I'm a little yeah. fearful for you. I'm a little fearful for you. She's just so catty. Um, you know, how can we even believe that terrible things were said to a gay person? I don't know, it's not like that ever happens. There's just no evidence of that or hate crimes or anything. Like, why should we believe that that could even possibly happen? Maybe his parents told him out of love that he was gonna burn in hell forever. It was out of love, guys. That makes it okay. Can I just say <sighs> also that I feel like they are once again, the media, Satan is targeting our children. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes, our children. Someone needs to fight for the children. Let's just put that out there. Yeah. Because come on. We we yeah. gotta wake we up. We gotta wake up. We gotta stop it. We gotta protect our kids because that's what they're That's right. That's man. what they're saying. Wow. That's, that's right. who they're targeting. That's right. That's right, Karen. Mm hmm Yes, Karen. I agree with you. Karen, you could not have said it better. Thanks, Karen. The children. I didn't want to do it, guys. I'm so sorry but I'm gonna do it. Paul and Morgan also commented on this. We're just gonna touch on it briefly. I, you know, this was mostly for the Karens. This is the video, this one goes out to the Karens, but this is, you know, unavoidable for me. So, uh, Jesus died for Lil Nas too, but we need to talk. Lil Nas, if you're out there watching this. We got something very important to say to you. He's not, <laughs> he is not out there watching a Paul and Morgan video, I mean, I, you know, who knows, but I just kind of doubt it. Unless he's watching this video. No, I'm kidding.
best intro ever. Who did it better though? I think I did. Lil Nas obviously has a message he wants to, to put out there. Seems like it's pushing on, on the Christians. He's done his music video, his song. He's just making his stance clear of like, well, here's to you, Christian, saying that the LGBT community is not going to go to heaven. Well, guess what? We don't want to go to heaven. We want to reign in hell. So he made this whole music video. And I'm sure there's Neither more. Neither of us have watched it. Oh my god! Oh my god. We didn't watch it. Of course. Nobody watches any of this shit. Ever. No one watches it. And also, it's not saying we'd rather reign in hell. Like, literally. He doesn't believe in hell. This is a joke. It's a fucking parody of what you believe that he has had shoved down his throat his whole life along with threats of eternal fucking burning damnation. This is not, I choose Satan. It's a commentary on you. I think that that was missed on like all of these people. Really provoking mm -hmm. Christians, the explicitness the imagery. It's very, very blasphemous. It's very, bl it's very blatant. It's in your face. And I, I don't want to get into it. It's, yeah. it's. There's no need to talk about it, guys. There is no need to talk about it. We're not going to get into it. So let's sit down for an entire video talking about it. But it's demonic. It's sexual. It seems very purposeful in trying to upset Christians. There's a lot of outrage. And in a sense, rightfully so. And that's pretty much where I was at. I saw it and I was like, wow. <laughs> like disgusting, despicable. And I'm not even saying that's totally wrong. Right, I think it's justified to be disgusted and to be um, upset over this. Disgusting, despicable, we have the right to be mad. I think it makes sense that Christians are outraged over this. Take a minute, a bit of introspection, and wonder maybe why this is meant to cause outrage. Do you think maybe it's because He's feeling a bit of outrage for what Christianity has put on him and so many others. It's amazing how it's so easy for people to see a response to hurt, unjust hurt, and then feel entitled to be the victims themselves in all of it. It's truly amazing to me how they can just flip it like that. Sure, there is going to be people in the church that judge hypocritically and take verses out of context and are proud and, and just jerks. Mm -hmm. But a lot of, you know, these people who are hurt by the church or who say they're hurt, what they're really hurt by is the word of God that speaks against their lifestyle. So some people in the church can be jerks. They can just be real. Like, I totally agree. Other people can be jerks. They can be bad. But, um, you know, maybe not if they're saying the truth. So basically what he's doing is like a false sense of trying to validate that there are bad people in the church that say bad things. But the bad things in particular that this commentary is on are the anti-LGBTQ sentiments that are pushed by Christianity all of the time. This particular response is about homophobia and the nasty words that Christians propagate, trying to convince people that they shouldn't be able to love who they want to love because of a place y'all made up called hell. So if you're gonna say, yeah, they can say mean things sometimes, but, but if it's the truth, then that's okay. You're not offended at mean things. People say you're offended at the truth. Well, your truth is actually bullshit and it's actually very hurtful. So don't try to cloak it in some kind of righteousness because it's the truth. Maybe it's your truth, so live that truth. It looks like you are, but keep your damn mouth shut and stop trying to push that on other people. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be quick to be like, oh, whoever you are, I'm so sorry that the church has hurt you. That may not be the case. It probably is the case and oh, I'm getting mad, I am getting, very frustrated at this. Uh, they, there's just a complete refusal to acknowledge that the teachings of the church or whoever against LGBTQ is harmful. It is, it straight up is. And there is no way that you can convince me or a lot of other people out there that it's horrible. You can say it's the truth. You can say you're trying to save people. You can say it's coming from a place of love. But at the end of the day, you are hurting people and you're full of shit. For Lil Nas, guys, just share this video on his page. Let's just get him to see this video. Oh my video. goodness, Lil Nas. <laughs> Lil Nas does seem to be very engaged in 
people's yeah. feedback and criticism of his recent movements. That's true. Um, I've seen on Twitter he's responded to Christy Nome, the conservative governor. He's responded to Candace Owens. Yeah, let's get this video to Lil Nas. <laughs> we could not be any more thirsty for that attention, could we? He doesn't want to see your video, you guys. And also, like, do you really think that you're gonna say anything that he has not heard from people like you before? You're not gonna like shatter his mind with brilliance and oh my God, no one ever said it to me like that. If I just knew that that's what the Bible said and God and Jesus and hell and fucking gay people, shit, thanks for telling me. This video is not just for Lil Nas, this is for anyone who feels like they've, they're too far gone, for anyone who feels like they've sinned too much, for anyone who feels like they just will never be able to walk with God. Oh, this is probably for everybody watching my video, so. Well, a lot of people. Here you go, this one's for you. And we are telling you that is a lie from the enemy. Jesus is waiting for you. His arms are wide open. You you might be the prodigal son, the prodigal daughter. He's waiting to throw a rope around your back, put a ring on your finger, and throw a feast for you. Woo! What in the hell are you talking about, woman? What the hell? You know, it was just, it was a little weird. It was a little too much. I will say though, really quick on a positive note, I am very impressed with the comments that you guys left on this video. I don't know if it was you guys, but just in general, people saw this video and they were just like, you know, not happy. Someone commented the quote from the tweet that he posted and Paul and Morgan responded saying, that's sad. He needs a real life changing encounter with God. And then someone responded, at Paul and Morgan, no, it's sad that people like you still continue to tear down LGBTQ people. You are the people Lil Nas X is criticizing. Yes, amen to that. Let me go ahead and just fix that with a like, like on that comment. And then I also love these. The only thing he mocked or disrespected was Satan. Not sure why you'd have a problem with that, right? He kills Satan, well, you should be happy. Rejoice and be glad. Uh, next person says, people are literally getting bullied, shamed, hurt, or killed just because they are born gay. So I am sorry if you feel offended because apparently gay people can't be offended by a cult that wishes them eternal suffering and drives them to suicide. Damn. You hit the nail on the cross with that one. I'm proud of you guys. I don't even know if this is somebody who follows me or not, but just in general, I'm proud of humanity. I'm proud of that response to something like this, to some toxicity like this. And you know, the moms, the moms need to get it too. The Karen mom group of Jesus, Jesus Karen moms, Karen mom Jesuses. I don't know. Anyway, I finally gave my commentary on this. Just the reactions from people were too funny too funny to pass up. So like this video if you liked it. Really, liking videos does help a lot. The YouTube algorithm likes to suppress videos like this one because you know, the children. So give it a like, give it a comment. Let me know what you think. Tell me which Karen was your favorite? Which, the best Karen of them all? What, what do you think? Who was it? Also on the note of satanic things and merch that is satanic, I have wine kitty shirts and little kitties got devil horns. So if you like wine and you like the devil horns and cats, I've got the merch for you. If you head over to ffvmerch.com, you can grab some things with that design. I've got a lot of stuff. I've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, I've got pop sockets, all kinds of things. Hoodies, no, oh, I already said hoodies. Beanies, lots of cool stuff over there. So go over to ffvmerch.com. It's a great way to support me, along with people who support me over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Jacqueline. And again, big things coming soon. So please subscribe to my second YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Jacqueline Vlogs, or exciting, if you go on YouTube and search Frank Family Vlogs, you will also find that channel. So make sure to check it out, subscribe. I am posting all of our moving videos right now and it's just gonna be a lot of excitement. So go on over there and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you guys there. I do more than bitch about Jesus, I promise. But you'll never know unless you go over there and subscribe. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.